artifacts provide us with the crucial evidence we need to understand ancient civilizations. But sometimes, unearthing the past only adds to the mystery, like the Nazca Lines in Peru, enormous geometric shapes drawn in the earth that cover an area about 300 square miles. For decades, archaeologists have wondered if the Nazca were simply creating art or communicating to the gods. And now an entirely new set of lines has been found nearby, deepening the mystery. Here's correspondent J.J. Kelly. This is the Pan American Highway. It goes all the way from the top of Alaska down to the bottom of South America. And it runs directly through where I'm going, the Nazca Lines. An ancient site of wonder and mystery. The Nazca culture dates back to the birth of Christ and survived until about 650 AD when the lines were lost to history. Looking out across this flat plateau, they don't look like much. <laughs> Not from here, anyway. It wasn't until humans took flight during the 20th century that the lines were truly revealed. And the heart of the mystery was born. Why would the Nazca create terrestrial designs that could only be observed from the sky? Archaeologist Dr. Luis Jaime Castillo has recently uncovered crucial clues in the effort to solve this nearly century-old puzzle. Here we go. But Dr. Castillo is working against time. The geoglyphs, which have slowly been fading over 2,000 years, are now under increasing threat from human activity. One of the things that we will see is that they are absolutely everywhere, even around this airport. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's incredible. Funky! See a hummingbird. That's the size of a building. Due to their size, the figures can only be fully recognized from the sky. But time has taken its toll on the lines, and many have become difficult to see from an airplane. A few disadvantages to the plane. You're flying high, you're flying fast, and you kind of feel like you want to puke. So far, archaeologists have identified 70 animal and plant designs, 300 geometric figures, and over 800 straight lines extending up to 30 miles. These shapes are everywhere, and they're almost mathematically perfect. They're beautiful. From above, they are impressive. But a closer look reveals how extremely delicate they really are. You can really see how this was made. You see the rocks on top, kind of this reddish brown. And once you remove these rocks, then you reveal a white sand. It's as simple as that. The unique conditions here are what has preserved the lines for thousands of years. Let's talk about the climate a little bit. It rains all of 20 minutes a year. You also have very little wind. I mean, they were lucky enough where they basically live on the world's largest Etch-a-Sketch. The geoglyph's temporary nature begs the question, how many may have already been lost to time? Once again, modern technology is providing some answers. Drones can fly lower and slower over the landscape, an advantage that helped Dr. Castillo and his team make a recent groundbreaking discovery. they found older geoglyphs that were created before the Nazca even existed. In the hillsides, we have earlier figures that probably belong to a society called the Paracas. They were the first civilization here in the central south coast of Peru. The Paracas culture predates the Nazca by nearly 200 years. So here we have something that is quite different. We spotted some figures. Here we have the first the face. Oh, wow. No, the torso, the leg. Oh, wow. And there's a second figure here. Oh, wow, oh. now I see it. That's amazing. Yeah. 